Do you remember not having the ability to buy online? Some of us may, while others may not remember a time not being able to at least buy books online. E-commerce, the process of buying and selling online, has been around longer than many know. Let's go back in time. In the late 1970s, Michael Aldrich invented the first online shopping system which helped pave the way to what we have today. During the 1980s, a few companies started to dip their toes in the world of electronic commerce. Most of these transactions were B2B, business to business. However, in the mid-80s, the first B2C, business to customer, online home shopping experience occurred. All the research and technological advances during the 1980s brought us into the new decade, ready to sail the e-commerce ship. To get the ship sailing, in the 1990s, Tim Berners-Lee, built the first web browser, which debuted in 1991. During the late 90s, companies jumped at the opportunity of selling online. From web auctions to retailers, they were all getting online. Big names like Amazon, eBay, Zappos, PayPal, and Dell, just to name a few. From 2000 to today, many things have changed with buying and selling since 1990s. Many small businesses have opened up e-commerce shops, while in the past couple years, buying Christmas gifts online has become the norm. Looking into the future, what will happen? Although no one really knows, some say there will be even more brick and mortar shops closing, while some think these shops will turn into more like showrooms, where you will try on things and then order them to come to your door. What do you think will happen to brick and mortar shops? One new piece of technology that was recently announced by Amazon.com will be changing the way we receive our online orders. Amazon announced they will be rolling out drones that will deliver your order within 30 minutes. Gone will be the days of having to wait 7 to 10 days for your purchase with the way technology keeps evolving.